Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. We're up this weekend in the Berkshires, and which is in Massachusetts. It's really beautiful. I haven't really actually spent too much time up here, but I'm really glad I did. It's, it's beautiful. Um, this morning is completely freezing. It is 17 degrees this morning. And we have been up here for the long weekend and really enjoying ourselves. We stayed at the Lifehouse Hotel, which I do recommend checking out if you're ever up here. It's really cute and modern and has a lot of uh, good food and uh, a nice lobby. We had some drinks in there before dinner every night. Uh, I recommend checking it out. We also did the Mass Mocha Museum, which was really cool. Honestly, one of my favorite museums I think I've ever been to. So definitely check that out if you're ever in the Massachusetts area. And uh, Mass Mocha is like actually closer to Boston, I think. I don't know, we're about three hours away from New York City. So today we have to drive back. Like I said, it's about a three hour drive. I'll probably get some coffee along the way. And then once I'm back in the city, I've got my apartment feels like where we left off. It was the tree. I probably got that moss now so I can show you the moss, updated moss. Uh, I ordered a big grocery delivery. I'll show you all the groceries that I ordered. At the end, I'll show you my closet tour. I've got to put clothes away anyway, so from my trip to unpack. So I'll show you my closet. We'll take you through everything there. It's, it's my favorite thing I've ever done in my apartment. So I'm really excited to show you guys and share how I designed it and how it's organized. So I'll show you my closet at the end of the video. So stick around for that. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. It really helps the channel. It's very awkward to talk about asking you guys to subscribe, but uh, I have a lot of really cool videos coming up, including my bedroom makeover. I got all restoration hardware furniture, and I'm gonna be showing you that, and uh, painted it, and rugs, and mirrors, everything, bedding. So you definitely wanna see that. And then I have a lot of other cool trips coming up. I'm going to Mexico, I'm going to London, and I'm gonna be vlogging those. But for now, let's hit the road, and I'll talk to you guys back in New York. the food that I'm gonna eat this week. I, some some weeks I will try to like meal prep and actually have a recipe in mind and then buy everything to like meal prep that thing. I'm not too religious about it, but I know that I just need to have healthy food in the house. Otherwise I'm going to eat shit. So yeah, I'm gonna take you through everything I bought because I think that's interesting when people show what they get from the grocery store. Uh, although in New York City, I order it from Fresh Direct, which is a delivery service. I ordered it this morning, I had like 3 a.m. insomnia and that's when I placed the order and it came at 3 p.m. So 12 hours later, comes straight to your door, probably for a pretty significant premium over a typical grocery store outside of New York City. But actually in New York City, I find that these delivery services are actually cheaper. So yeah, I'll take you through it. I'll tell you like what I plan to do with each of these things more or less and then we will put it away. Starting with proteins, I always get chicken breast. I like this brand, uh, the Farmer's Focus. And I also get roasted turkey cold cuts when I'm starving in the afternoon. And this is typically what I'll go for. And I'll either like just roll it up with some mustard or put it with a wrap. Fresh Direct makes amazing grilled chicken. So this is good. I'll throw this on a salad or even just like with rice and a vegetable. It's six ounces in each container, so it's a good portion, and it's much better than those packages of pre-made chicken, you know, strips that you can get in the supermarket. I, I, I like this a lot, and it's literally the same price as those pre-made crap ones. And then salmon, two salmon uh, fillets, and then this is my new obsession, the spatchcock whole chicken. So spatchcock, I didn't know what this meant, but it, it just basically means they cut the chicken in half and then it is ready to, it, it roasts a lot quicker, like probably like 
30 minutes or less. You have this delicious roast chicken and it's just, it lays flat on the pan. So it cooks a lot quicker. And then you have a lot more surface area to brown too, which makes it tastier. And then I think that's it for protein-ish. Kale, I love kale. I always do kale for my salads. These cotton candy grapes are crack. They're so good, so good. And pineapples, I love the jumbo blueberries. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. And they're quite expensive. Like I think this is $10 at least from Fresh Direct, but they're worth it. Avocado, I love mini cucumbers. I'll usually put one of these chopped up on my salad. Green onion, that is for, oh yeah, I got the uh, this tuna and I'm gonna make like a healthy tuna salad with Greek yogurt and light mayo and then some of this green onion chopped up in it and then uh, some pickles as well. Oh, I got this, I've never seen this before. This, maybe this is just like local to New York City. I'm not sure, but Hayden's Kitchen. Yeah, it's, it's a New York thing. I wonder if they sell it everywhere. It's really good. And uh, I do this over the salmon. Eggs, I love eggs. I'm like a, like really, really picky about my eggs and I love Vital Farms. This is the eggs that I will get all the time. Avocado for the salad. I love these pretzel thins, really good. I'll probably just like snack on the tuna salad with those pretzel thins. Baby carrots, I'm gonna do green beans with the spatchcock chicken. I'm probably gonna make that tonight actually. And then these little potatoes, I don't know. I just started seeing them recently everywhere and they're really good and I like the packaging. I like that it's not a ton of potatoes. Like I, you know, not cooking for that many. So it's uh, just like a waste to buy so many. And then celery, I love English muffins. And these are the light multigrain version, halo top for that sweet treat. Love this breakfast sausage. I literally eat it every single day with my eggs. And I drink these constantly, LaCroix. I've been looking into possibly getting the, that, the like, not the soda stream, but I think it's called the Arc to replace the LaCroix. I just like find that those don't taste exactly the same. And then this fat-free whip goes right on this or directly in my mouth, depending on my mood. Okay, so before I get started, I definitely need to organize my fridge a little bit and then we can stock it up. All right, first I'm gonna start by tidying up the existing situation here so that it's not, so that it's clean with everything going into it. Sometimes you have to make some executive decisions in the fridge, you know, like sometimes things just need to be thought of, like chili con queso, that's half empty. That's gonna be thrown out. I have, how many jars of salsa do I have that are literally like 10% full? Salsa just like lasts for so long. I don't know, I feel like salsa will just be around until the next comet hits the planet. It's like barely full. It just takes up space. got some of the more taller things like the oat milk, which I love in my coffee, the egg station, the drink station, some fruits, the yogurt, AG1, I got the grapes back there, the potatoes, the proteins are all here, those chicken things, the chicken breast, that spatchcock chicken and veg. This drawer does have, a, does have organization. It's like, um, actually, no, it doesn't. If you remember in the last vlog, we did uh, the unboxing of the RH vessel for the olive tree. I've actually, and I didn't finish putting the moss in, so I'm gonna show you what that moss looks like now. I think it looks really good. And I really like the size of the vessel, so I'll show you that. If you haven't seen that, you should go back and watch the other vlog. I think this looks good. Honestly, it looks like something that you could have bought this way, but we know that I bought the tree from Pottery Barn and then this vessel from RH and then I concocted a whole stand to put the tree up on and then got the moss laid out on it. And I think it looks great. 
and I like the size a lot. This is a big space and I think it deserves a big pot and I really like the way it looks. I will say it's not coming across, at, it looks even bigger in person, but I think it looks really good. And I also think that that moss will kind of like, cause it's so close to the window, I think it will start to fade over time. Welcome to the closet. This is the closet in my bedroom, the primary bedroom. This is the two bedroom apartment. And this closet came a long way. When I bought the place, it was literally just an empty room with a door and that's it. I had a rolling rack in it. I had an old dresser in it, but it was basically a blank slate, which I really loved. The closet itself is actually by the container store and it's from their premium line. It was called Laren, I believe now it's called Preston, but there's a ton that you can do to personalize and make it the closet of your dreams. And it's a lot more affordable than like a California closets or other custom millwork closet systems. I really like the LEDs. I'm gonna show you guys everything, all the features of the closet, the contents of the closet, and yeah. So without further ado, let's get that started. This closet does not have any door on it. This is just always open and I will back up further into my apartment. So right now I'm standing in my living room and then in here is my office and in here is my uh, the guest bathroom. So when you're walking by, you see this and that's that's the point. That's what I wanted. I wanted it to just be like an extension of the apartment. I didn't want to have a door and just like get in the habit of throwing shit on the ground. So that's been successful. I've lived here over three years and it's always pretty tidy. And honestly, I left some things like realistic. Like I was, I was like, am I gonna clean these out for this tour? Uh, no, because I'm a human and I don't live off of these shelves and sometimes things overflow. But for the most part, this left side, we've got, uh, I, I put bigger bags up here. That's a Louis Vuitton uh, keep ball and it's the 55. And then I have the Loewe. Uh, messenger bag here. These are all my LTK if you want to check them out. And then I have, of course, a picture of Zoe here and then uh, the Cartier champagne, which by the way, if you buy something from Cartier, they will give you champagne if you ask for it. Uh, sometimes they just give it to you without asking, but if you ask, they, they typically do. Then I have some of my favorite fragrances on rotation. I love Byredo and I love Le Labo. I also just, this is my most recent one, I think. Oh, that's not true. But I do love the Celine. And I love this one. This is my most recent from Byredo, the De Los Santos. It's really good. Uh, this tray, I got a lot of questions about this tray. This is from West Elm. And uh, I can leave a link for that. So you can check it out. It was very affordable. And I just think it's perfect for displaying fragrance or jewelry or having as a valet. It's just cool, it's black marble and it's really good quality and I think it looks great in here. So very minimal on these shelves, just really displaying things. In this top drawer, I have jewelry. I've got my bracelets and my watch, my Santos watch, and I've got belts, I've got wallets, and I've got just some other stuff, cases for watches when I travel and things like that. By the way, I can do a full tour of like a fragrance tour. I can do a bag tour. You guys let me know in the comments what you wanna see more of and I can do more tours of them. And the second drawer is sunglasses. By the way, all these bins, like these little uh, containers are all from the container store too. They're called stackers and I really like them. They fit literally so perfectly in the drawer, as you can see. And you can just kind of like move it around and yeah. So that's all my sunglasses in here. Again, I can do like more in-depth tours of each one if you'd like to see them, but sunglasses, sunglass cases. And then this is actually like a built-in hamper here. It did break. It used to like open with it, but I was really forceful. You know how it is when you're like cleaning. Moving on to the second section. I have some backpacks on display here. My most recent from Bottega, which I am obsessed with. I've done so many videos on TikTok about this one. So if you're not following me on TikTok, you should. This is a Gucci one that I got several years ago. It's very festive. It's basically, you can use it once a year. This is from the Nigo Louis Vuitton uh, collection and another Louis Vuitton, another Louis Vuitton. 
I've tried to keep this color organized. You can see I'm a fan of black and navy, and I try to have all the same hangers. I got these on Amazon, these black felt hangers. It really makes a difference to just try to keep that all organized and looking the same. And then I have back here, the summer clothes. So all the short sleeves are, are back here. And then the main shoe wall, which is the focal point with all of the LEDs. I think this looks so sick. By the way, all these LED lights are dimmable. You can see it's a wide variety from loafers to sneakers to athletic sneakers to lots of different styles here. Moving to the right, up here, oh, I've got hats and stuff up there. I've got suits, I've got jackets, I've got some more formal shirting here. I've got a sort of like spot for hangers that I just never look at. Um, but again, like it's not a showroom. And yeah, I could do better at getting these hangers all the same. Maybe I'll do that this week. I, I need like wooden, those big hangers, like suit hangers. That will make this look a lot cleaner, but uh, that's what's up there. I work from home, so I'm not wearing suits that often. Pants are down here. I got these also from the container store. I wear a lot of John Elliott, so most of my pant collection is John Elliott, like uh, these cool cargos and paint splatter, khakis, and just like good pairs of black denim. Um, that's all here. I've got another Ramoa hidden away in there. And that's it for this side. Now for this last section, we've got some drawers and some cabinets. These cabinets here are my sweater collection and hoodies. This literally, it, I have to clean this up every day. I, I definitely don't, but uh, I just recently did a pretty big clean out and just like simplifying everything. I wear a lot of neutrals and blacks and navies, but they're all basically here. Again, I'm a huge John Elliott fan. This is probably my favorite sweater. It's cashmere and it fits amazing. And more cashmere, rag and bone stuff, John Elliott, Mr. P. That's really my rotation here. Moving down here. I'm not gonna show you the socks and underwear. I'll give you a peek, it's a disaster. And more here. And then this drawer is gym clothes. And then I've got down here bags. And this is a really fun drawer. I wish there was a better way to display these kind of bags, like these crossbody bags. I have so many and I love them. And like this is my latest from Oebe that I got and I'm obsessed with it. I just wish there was a better way to display them in this closet, but I haven't figured it out. And to be honest, I don't have the room to really spread them all out. So for now, they're in a drawer. This is also one of my favorite features of the closet. This chandelier is from RH and I painted the ceiling black. There's not much actual wall space in here, but you can see like in the little sliver of wall that there is, I painted that black. I just think it looks really sleek in here. And this rug in here is a jute rug I had custom made to perfectly fit the space so that there was like just that perfect sort of border around. And I think that looks great also. So that's it for the closet tour. I hope you enjoyed it. It's my favorite, one of my favorite rooms in the apartment, uh, as you might guess. If you wanna see more, as I said, let me know. That's it for this vlog. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Turn on the bell, like this video. It really helps the channel. It's new, it's growing. I'm so excited. I can't wait to make more content for you. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,